Hey you guys, I'm back for part two of our life and family update. Um, I just went and put the kids down for a nap so that way I could actually get this done. Um, Ava's the only one that doesn't take a nap anymore. I guess uh, that generally stops about three and a half to four. So um, anyway, so yeah, my last video was basically all about Leah and what she's gone through over the past year. So things have been just kind of hectic, um, taking care of um, her health problems and stuff and concerns. So, yeah, um, that's one of the reasons I haven't been able to really vlog. But, um, yeah, so as far as Leah, besides her health and stuff, she's a very smart baby. Um, I think she's the smartest of all of them. But, of course, she was born a full term at 39 weeks. So I think that's to be expected. Um, but she she rolled over by the time she was I think six days old uh, she was smiling by the time she was a month old and then she was just she would give the world's biggest belly laughs I think she was maybe six six to eight weeks old when she was doing that um, and then she was sitting up maybe five months and crawling by I'm gonna say seven months seven to eight months and then she started walking in 11 months and she she wasn't like Ava. Ava took a couple steps at um, 13 months old and then she did not, she didn't want to walk again for like an entire month. She was much like Oliver, um, basically the same age and then they just both went for it. They didn't take um, any precautions or anything, they just went right for it. Um, she was also very big on climbing up the staircase very quickly too. and. Um, Oliver was the only one, the first one we actually had around staircases, um, around a staircase. So he learned to crawl up very quickly, but then he um, he took maybe another month before he started going down because he fell down the steps one time. It's only five steps and then five steps and then five steps. So they don't really fall too far, but it scared him so much that he didn't try it again for at least a month, I think it was. And then Leah, basically, she went right for it. She fell down one time, but she didn't care. She, she is definitely like Ava. Um, I think a lot worse in most cases. Uh, she's, she just, she has no fear. She's absolutely fearless. She goes for everything, and she climbs and she slides down big slides. Um, yeah, she just loves everything. So, but she watches everything the other kids do and. She's definitely a little princess already, age of one. Um, she loves to go around and put tiaras on her head. Today, the past two days actually, she's been carrying around little purses and stuff. Um, she sees mommy doing that, so she wants to be just like mommy. And then, um, then she also is just like me when I was little. I would have this little radio I'd run around the house with and sing songs on my, I'd have the radio on my shoulder and just playing the songs over and over again. She, I was three doing that. She's doing that at the age of one. She's got this little box that she pushes the button over and over again. She puts it up by her ear. She walks around just doing her dance and singing out loud. It's the cutest thing. What is that? Um, mommy's making a video for YouTube. But you can't get in it because you don't have clothes on. She just got out of the bathtub. So She's another reason I don't vlog often because she, she's the... Uh, fly free child. I don't know if that's the proper word for it. But the minute she comes home, she takes her clothes off and she's she does not want to wear anything a lot of the times. Um, I think that happened, that started when we really were um, potty training her and stuff. So she just got way too used to it and doesn't want to wear clothes. So she'll do a lot of dress up and stuff. But, and she's doing better lately because um, we have more people over often. So. Um, but yeah, Leah is just, she's so much fun. She's hilarious. She's got the funniest little laughs. Um, and by that I mean she has several different laughs. And um, yeah, she's just very smart and fun. So, um, but she, she has only five teeth right now, still at the age of almost 14 months old. And she's definitely our latest on getting her teeth. Um, even though she, she had a... Uh, um, you could see her teeth coming out like right away, but they just took forever to finally come out. And so she's got two more up here that have been taking a long time to come out too. So 
she just she's teething but they just take very long to come out I don't know why and so she doesn't care though what she does is she eats anything and everything she knows she has figured out how to chew everything with those five teeth and she's just fine um, she loves cheeseburgers. She's the only child that we have ever been able to get to eat cheeseburgers and she just goes crazy over them. The other two, they have to have chicken nuggets or hot dogs. It's, it's Cheeseburgers don't exist in their world. So, um, but yeah, she loves them and she loves dancing. She, yeah, she pretty much does everything that um, I would say a two to three year old would do. She was actually walking through the hallway at the doctor's office at the last appointment, and she, um, her shoe was falling off, and I told her I would get it, but then she's like, no, and she had to stop and sit down and try to put her shoe on by herself. And one of the doctors there that doesn't know her thought she was two, and I was like, no, she's just turned one, and he was like, whoa. First off, our kids are all very tall, and we get a lot of remarks on their behavior because they look older than what they are. Ava looks like she's six or seven. Oliver looks like he's four. And Leah looks like she's two. So, yeah, they're super tall because of Daniel being six and a half feet tall. You would think that they'd be a little shorter because I'm only five three, but they're gonna take after him big time. So, Ava is, I think she's got 18 inches left on me and then she'll be the same height as me. So I'm betting by the time she's eight, she'll be my height, which is scary. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much with Leah. And then, um, oh, and she also talks like crazy. She, she, um, I think she started about eight months old being a parent. So I would say a word to her like three times in a row and she would repeat it. And she's just done that with everything. And she's, I think she talks almost as much as Oliver does. So it's pretty cute. Um, yeah, and Oliver, he's doing well. We're trying to start him on potty training. It's a little more... He seems like his development sometimes is a little um, slower, but they say sometimes boys are that way. He's only... He's going to be three in October, so three months from now. Um, he's starting to talk a lot, so I'm definitely um, feeling very relieved because I was nervous about that for a while because he's always just done the little... Tick -tick 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 and that was very cute, and I'm kind of sad that it's going to go away, but I'm loving his words um, and talking and stuff. However, he is, like I mentioned in the last video, he is going through the terrible twos, so he's doing a lot of screaming about things and not getting his way. And then also, he he's more independent. He doesn't always want people touching him or around him. Um, he does a lot of go away. Um, like the other night I was trying to give him a kiss at bedtime and he goes, get out. I'm like, okay. So I don't really try to scold him for it because I know he's going to grow out of it. Um, he's two and a half. It's normal. Ava went through the same thing in different ways, but definitely the same thing. So um, I know Leah's going to hit that soon too. She actually already does in a lot of times because she sees Oliver do it so she already knows like if you're trying to take something from her she'll hold it really tight and she'll scream or she'll say don't or no she just yeah she's very smart about that so but yeah she's already pretty much started the terrible twos um and then Ava she is um we do get a lot of remarks on why she's not in school and I'm like she's in preschool she is only four she just turned four so a lot of people are like Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's always funny. Um, but yeah, she's she's um, doing pretty good. She's smart. Um, she's learning to write now and her alphabet. She sings the alphabet and a bunch of other songs. Um, she loves watching cartoons, which I know the kids shouldn't watch cartoons that much, but she is definitely her dad um, when it comes to cartoons and movies. Um, and she learns so much from them. It's not like, yeah, I, she doesn't learn a lot of bad things from them. She's learning good things from them. So that's where I'm kind of like, okay, that's, you know. She loves Daniel Tiger a lot um, and Princess Sophia, My Little Pony, Strawberry Shortcake, Barbie, Jake, and the Nev Neverland Pirates. Um, what else? 
there's quite a few a few other ones and she'll watch some adult movies we got them to watch uh, Mac and Me recently and they really like that movie uh, which is fun because I grew up with that movie um, so yeah it's it's just fun watching them see movies that I grew up watching um, let's see she I mean she is the, the child that um, she, I can't think of the word for it. She definitely does, I think she's gonna learn my husband's vocabulary, which is good, because mine is horrible. I have a vocabulary of a, probably a 10 year old, and I'm with little ones all day long, so it seems like it's just fading and fading and fading. I don't have much of um, adult interaction, so it's just getting worse by the day. Um, maybe even by the minute. So, she associates things with things like one day we were outside and she saw these dandelions the white ones and stuff and she picked it up and she blew on it and she goes oh, it's just like Belle you know and she'd only I think she only saw that maybe twice at that point um, but yeah she just remembers things so well she remembers where she put things um, and she just yeah she's very smart in that sense and she gets that from me I <laughs> love saying that because she does get that from me um, and yeah, she gets the, the vocabulary and probably some other things from her dad, but she definitely gets the, the memory and relating things to certain things from me. So I'm glad. Oliver is picking up the cleaning neat freak thing from me. Um, he gets mad if things aren't in a certain spot. Like Leah was messing with Ava's plate last night and took it away, even though Ava was done with it. Oliver was mad and went and took it from her and put it back on the table in the spot that it was in. Or the puzzle pieces to this little puzzle board, um, he took one from her and went and put it back in its spot. And so I'm kind of, I'm like, oh no, what have I done? Um, so yeah. And then, um, yeah, he has started a collection. He loves his cars, um, his Hot Wheels. He is obsessed with those, so he has this little box that his grandma, my um, mother-in-law, bought him last year for his birthday, and he, like, that thing's never full because there's always at least 10 to 15 cars missing, but you end up finding them some point throughout the house, but, um, yeah, so he is constantly putting them back in there and dragging the box upstairs or downstairs, just carrying it everywhere he goes, um, and then... Ava's got almost all the Care Bears that come with the DVDs. She's got almost all of those. I think there's five left. So she's almost done with her collection. But then she's also got a mermaid collection from Sea Life. Um, so that's slowly starting. She's only got two, but she wants another one for Christmas. Um, Leah doesn't have a collection yet, thank goodness. She's only one, so we're, we'll see what she, she wants to collect. Um, but yeah, they're really fun. Um, back in March we did a whole uh, reorganizing their toy room thing I basically was like you know what this is what our tax return needs to go towards part of it not all of it but um, I really wanted to make sure the kids were able to have easy access to their toys and stuff so that is wonderful I love that room like crazy and I'm kind of sad because we're possibly moving in May and that way we can be closer to my husband's work but I'm really sad because that room is almost done and we've been making Disney puzzles to put on the walls, the Thomas Kincaid Disney puzzles. We've been doing those to frame and put on the walls because it's supposed to be Disney themed. Um, but I'm like, by the time this is all done, we're probably going to have um, moved already and may not get to be in a house with them because houses are a little more pricey out there. So we may only get a three bedroom house or a four bedroom, but no loft. So the loft is what is our toy room. So we might have to lose that. But I told my husband if we can only find a four bedroom house, he's losing his office and that's gonna be the toy room whether he likes it or not. So he can have his computer in our room. Um, it's not gonna bother me that much. So it only bothers me if I'm trying to sleep. So, um, But yeah, I kind of picked the wrong day to do this because we've all had colds. So my throat is pretty sore, but yeah. I'm almost done, I think. <laughs> um, if this is even still recording, it was trying to shut off a little bit ago. Yeah, it's still recording. So um, I'm gonna try to make only one more part. I'll go ahead and pause this now and start off with um, 
hopefully we can get it done in one more video, but we'll see. All right, I'll be back.